Oh my ah. god, what is that? Why is the guy from Arkham Knight on the no, whatever. Oh, Isaac, you would be that character <laughs> in the Arkham universe. What? No, the, no, no. no. First of all, he's Christian. All right. First of all, he's Christian. Um, and no, Jesus. What do you mean he's if Christian? I am the, the fucking knight, the Arkham, like the dude with the sword, you know? No, dude, that's not Arkham Knight. Have you not played the Arkham Knight? Have you no, not played the Arkham it, games? he's in the game, though, right? Yeah, you, you, you know, his name's As. I know he's, yeah, I know he's not the Arkham Knight. I know that's Jason Todd, yeah. Oh, you spoiled it for all the people who haven't played Arkham Knight. All right, then fucking cut it out of the video. No, 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 we're keeping it. Isaac, this is going to be a good cold open, all right? And then oh you just spoiled God. it. Um, oh, wait, I'll keep make sure. Oh! God damn it. Um, no, you would be, who, what, you've played the Arkham games, right? No. Oh, really? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Isn't that disappointing? That is kind of disappointing. No, I, I, I think those are a terrible excuse for... It's just a how dare you for a video game. All right. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> this is basically this. It went like a Leah Switch game. I want I want everyone to know I have no interest in Diablo, the series. I've never played it. I never will. It is a disgrace. But uh you know. Oh my wow, that is a that is an opening. Wait, wait, wait. okay. On to the God, so many things are happening right now. Such a scattered uh, opening. First, so you haven't even played Batman Arkham City? I haven't played any of the three Arkham games. Okay, then how can you say they're like a, what did you say? A lazy excuse of a... Yeah, I mean, I've seen people play that. I didn't have an Xbox and most of them came out, but I would like watch playthroughs. So, I mean, I know the general like makeup of them. Uh... I just think that like, if you're going to make a Batman game, like a big part about what Batman, like yeah, he fights a lot, yeah, but he also like you know a big part of what Batman does is saving people, and for a lot of the games, it's like oh, all the civilians are out of the city. Oh my goodness. Well, and okay, well, like, uh, doesn't that kind of take away the entire point? Not really. I mean, well, no, I'd agree only for one of those three games because I mean, it makes. No, no, at, <laughs> at that point, you're ju- he's just co- he's just protecting corporate interest. Okay, corporate real estate. That's literally all he's doing. That is true. I mean, yeah. but like, the, it, you still got that and the detective shit going on, right? Yeah, like, that's, that's, cool. that's I mean, cool. no, it would, that, I would agree with that criticism with the last game because they're literally like, it's Gotham City, baby. Because the first two games is Arkham Asylum, and then the second one isn't really a Gotham City. Mm-hmm. It's like a sanctioned prison zone, basically. That it was like a test to see if you let like criminals out, right? So, and and within those, it's much more focused on like the gallery of villains Batman has and the psychology of it all. Um, mm-hmm. Damn, if only you played those games, that would have been a fun game of like which Arkham City um, villain you are. You would, and the thing is, you would like the main villain of Arkham City too. You, you gotta at least try Arkham City out. You're sleeping Arkham on it. City is that uh potential spoilers? I haven't played the game, so like it's embarrassing if I know. Is mm-hmm. that is that the one with Clayface? Is that is that Clayface? Is He's one, one of them, but then it's mainly. Is it Black Mask? No, is that Origins? Um, is it? <laughs> I'm just gonna keep. Yeah, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go. Here, I, I, yeah, this is. I mean, game. I could guess the Joker, but I don't think it's the Joker because it's the second game, right? And Joker was the villain in the first one. Um, he's kind of the he's sort of a villain in the second one it, like he's a like, big player in it oh is this the deathstroke one no that's origins okay too. um so that's deadshot deathstroke that's it's is it it's not bane is it that would be lame no that bane is kind of barely in the arkham games sort of uh, no he's in the first not... my bad wait what am i talking about he's in the first game and then joker uses the bane serum to become mega joker it's really stupid um. Anyways, yeah. Keep guessing. Keep guessing. Dude, my fucking hair is all messed up. Uh, mm. uh. Who else is there? Doctor Freeze was Origins. Um. Doctor Freeze is in City. Oh, Doctor Freeze is really good in City. Also, I, oh, who's man. a who's a villain that you would say I'm like? Because you did say that. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm drawing a blank on those. You wanna you wanna educate me and the viewers? Yeah, well, okay. And 
there's a gajillion Arkham City villains, right? Penguin, yeah. whatever. There's even Mad Hatters in it. All right, like that's yeah, when you know. Disappointing. Yeah, I think. What, what do you mean? Even to have it's like a fun little side quest or whatever. It's it's cute. Um, dude, why are you a huge Mad Hatter fan that you wanted him to have like significant? No, I don't like Mad Hatter. Oh, okay. Um, but there's a. Uh... Okay, I'm torn between the two. Um, you are either Rajal Ghoul, who's okay. that's the best depiction. Even though I really like Rajal Ghul in the uh, Arkham um, or in the Batman Begins movie, uh, Liam Neeson's pretty good as Rajal Ghul. Um, but how uh, much of the uh, like DC animated universe have you seen? I used to watch a lot of it. As a, okay. Good. Did you watch like Under the Red Hood? Yep, I've read okay. it. Did dog, watch... I've read this shit. You didn't Come like on. that? I mean, it wasn't. I guess. I guess he was only in it for like what two minutes. Who? Uh, what? Oh, I mean, dude, no, yeah, that's like the lamest form. Roger Gould was. He was not... alright. No, well, no, no, it's like, not bad. Like no, whole, sorry. Like, oh yeah, you know, uh, I might have fucked up, and he like never does that. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, sorry. I like it, but it, like compared to the like just what like, he does and begins or in Arkham City, it, okay. it's nowhere near as cool. But yeah, no, Under the Red Hood is good. Um, that's a good movie. That'd be a fun like middle random six cast movie, even though no one would one. care. But um, it's got Conroy, it's got Ackles, it's got God, oh, I mean those two. I just realized this is on theme because we're talking about DC. I literally forgot what movie we're talking about this whole time but it's batman yeah. related um okay and then other than yeah. that other... oh also sorry sorry let me yeah so nils kind of just gave the sticks cast for today away we ended up not doing the jackie robinson one uh was that like <laughs> what we were doing jackie robinson <laughs> we we covered it for you. <laughs> <laughs> the last <laughs> and we chose to do the flash oh my goodness yeah. <laughs> i forgot all about that oh it's disgraceful um well, maybe we'll do that for like 43. Oh, oh yeah, that was the whole point in those 42. Oh <laughs> anyway. Um no, you would be the main villain of Arkham City. Uh that's uh Dr. Hugo Strange. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely Dude, he's be. gotta be like the worst villain. Ah, he's not no, the worst. He's, he's bad though. I, oh. I, so it's your choice, Raj al Ghul or uh, Dr. Hugo Strange. Uh, can I be like someone like a little more moody and a little less just like psychotic? You definitely can. Okay. Hold on. Nice. Wait, wait. Let, let me, me here. Let me just, I'll pull up a. Uh, yeah. Me, yeah. I, have, I have an idea, actually. I have a really good idea. One second. Okay. First of all, let me get rid of the whatever that is. Um. Oh, how do I? Holy shit! That is a scary image. What? Okay, I'm gonna screen share really quick. Right. Look at Hugo Strange in this, dude. Look yeah, at that. I, see, I don't see the resemblance. Person. No, it, it's just in the game. In the in the the. Uh, video game no. i mean no that's what he looks like in a lot of the comics and a lot of like in gotham he looked like that yeah um God, that was a weird show you know ben mckenzie the guy who played officer uh commissioner gordon on did you ever watch gotham no you know he, all right so the guy who played commissioner gordon you know the protagonist of the entire thing um, yeah he uh <laughs> i saw him on instagram he He's like the author of a book that's coming out about how crypto is a scam. <laughs> like he's completely redirected his entire career in order to just tell everyone what we already know, that crypto is just like not a good investment. Hmm. Oh, uh, oh, Isaac. Oh, I totally found who you are. He's on this list. They're, they're, I'll say they. If it's if it's Riddler, I'll take Two Face. But if it's Riddler, I'm I'm gonna be so oh, disappointed. No, no, Two neither. Face makes a lot of sense, man. Two Face, I mean, uh, are you? If you say Penguin, I I feel like that's no, just no, like no, no, completely no. racist. Um, <laughs> I don't think it's Scarecrow because you would have said that for the for the Arkham Knight. It's definitely not Bane, not Joker. I don't think I'm poison ivy. I'm not a hippie. Yeah. Um, 
do you think I'm Harley Quinn or Catwoman? No. There's only two left. Dude, you missed it. You were so Mr. Freeze, Isaac. Holy nah, shit. Man. Dude, you were such a Mr. Freeze. You asked for nah. another moody villain that's not a psychotic. Mr. Freeze is just a normal guy that just has his wife frozen. He that's is not it. a normal guy. He he's is normal. He's fucking frost. He's like a frosty who needs to be kept at cold temperatures in order to not like melt. But other oh, than that, he's still normal. On. No, there's only there's only here. Stop sharing the screen. Let me let me share my screen. There's only okay. one way to. There's only one way to. Let me make sure you can. Oh, you can. Okay. Yeah, there's only one way to solve this. Okay. Oh, all right. You're gonna, you're gonna do the exact same thing right after. All right. All right. Um, the world would right. be a better place if people were less. Uh, wait, is this for me or you? Uh, no, this is this is for me. You, okay. Uh, you got to get the next one, and we'll see who's like you know more mental. Dude, we're not doing two um, of these quizzes. <laughs> so we're doing this for you. But this is no. This we're is, doing two. We're doing two. No, doing no. Two. This is a bit about you. My favorite crime movie. Uh, be... I haven't seen Scarface. Yeah. Um, um, uh, uh, honestly, uh, Italian Americans, generally speaking, are pretty solid. Um, yeah, yeah, you can do that. That's and I fine. don't have, yeah, yeah, like yeah. good fellas. Uh, um, although that's not really a which hobby movie. would you rather pick up? Oh, I should go back. Fuck. No, um, no that's fine. Oh, Isaac. Oh, you are definitely you're the challenge my mind. No, no, I'm just mentally challenged. It's a little different. Um, <laughs> oh, quirky. Yeah, something quirky. Yeah. Yeah, my ultimate okay. goal. It's oh, your ultimate God. goal. Making people smile is one of the four options. That's um, terrible. Um, it's not world domination. Okay, no, fair enough. No, 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 your no. friends would best describe... Oh, I get to pick no, this so one. Yeah you, can, yeah, you can pick this one. Your friends would describe you as... Whimsical and eccentric. If you, if you say I don't have any friends, and those, intimidating. I so... <laughs> friends, I don't have any. Wait, why would who would the friend would then say friends? Wait, I don't have one. So it's implied that you're friends. So um a force of nature, temperamental. Um that's interesting. Is there none of these necessarily fit you? I'm gonna say a force of nature. Uh, for now that's kind of all right i don't know how to take that one all right we're halfway done <laughs> which of these would most improve your life this podcast would be like yeah, 55 more. minutes and i'll be like oh wow we were a really good meaningful you can, discussion. can you do the thing where you edit on youtube like the sections of the video and this one's just literally what batman filler? <laughs> yeah, it's batman filler. Um, you find out because we're just gonna do this, and then we'll be like, "Yeah, the movie's not good." <laughs> That'd be the whole thing. Yeah, if you find out that you've been framed for something you didn't do, uh, you hire Marvel. Oh, which Marvel baddie Mar- would be wrong your universe? Someone, someone strong and relentless like Sabretooth. Uh, the maniacal Green Goblin. Uh, I'm not gonna big say charisma. I'm... Big fan of charisma. Okay, if you say I wasn't gonna say Magneto, but if you want to say why not? Magneto's a cool guy. No, 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 no. No, he is a really cool. We guy. can have like Shabbat together. Yeah. Um, yeah. and uh, if I would, which would you rely my, on? My, my superior strategy. strategy. And, and no, you. Oh, you're a henchman guy, Isaac. You would rely on your henchman. Uh, uh, what is your biggest weakness? I don't want to be Penguin, man. Uh, uh I have no weaknesses. <laughs> No, no, no. Too no. trusting. Too, too trusting. trusting. Yeah, I'm too <laughs> trusting. This is like when you go on a resume and they're like, hey, what's your best weakness? The best um, way to catch the Batman would be... All right, realistically, it would be threatening to blow up a building full of people. Like that, <laughs> that, that, Isaac, that's a you answer. Terrorism. That's your no, answer. No, but it's just like logistically, like you can't get Batman if you just like kidnap someone. You got to like just threaten a ton of people, you know? Oh, yeah. Please, God, give me like... Let's see. Someone really Almost done. Me. Come on. Click to see your result. What? what? Oh, no, no, no. It's telling me to take a survey. It's over. We're no, no. Oh, are We're you kidding on. me? We're moving on. Oh, my God. We t- no, we just... no. We don't sell out. We don't sell out. We do uh... not sell out. Oh, we just, <laughs> we just spent the last like, five minutes. Oh, wait. Hold on. For a quick... oh. It's actually a quick survey. Uh, okay, okay. I'm 18 to 24. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh 
more, one more, one more, one more. Nissan, 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 Nissan. One more, 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 I am moderately familiar. Wait, what am I familiar with? <laughs> Nissan? Yeah, they've stopped. They've stopped. Nissan, Nissan, Nissan. Yeah, uh, uh, two uh, years from now. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, we're going to do it. Uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Listeners, <laughs> you're so confused. You're just spamming through a survey. Uh, That's what they deserve. <laughs> Who puts a survey on a Batman villain survey? Or I guess it was. <laughs> the, the, oh, is it? It's loading. I, I don't. No, 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 it didn't even load. You just gave away no. your private info to Nissan for yeah, nothing. Oh, really? No. Oh, that's so disappointing. Wait, right, we'll refresh the page. Oh, refresh the page. I'll refresh. Yeah. I have to enter my e- <laughs> uh, N- Nissan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do a uh, Nissan Long at gmail.com. <laughs> Cleaning up. <laughs> what a fucking rip. Analyzing responses. What is it? Oh, brain! No! <laughs> All that for that. Oh, that's disgusting. All right. Oh, my God. Well, anyway, so, Nils, what did you think of the Flash? Oh, oh wait, first Isaac, uh welcome back to episode number forty two. There we go. Jackie Robinson number. Yep, Jackie Robinson mm. number for um this movie. Will you can turn it down a tiny bit, please? Yes. Thank you. Sorry. That's fine. Um What was mo- oh yeah, uh the flash. Uh let's do a quick uh, synopsis for this baby. Um doo, doo, doo. the flash uh directed by Andy Muschietti. Um worlds collide when his attempt to save his family inadvertently alters the future. Barry Allen be- becomes trapped in a reality in which General Zod has returned and there are no superheroes to turn to. Also, superheroes is uppercase. I don't know why. Um, In order to save the world that he is in and return to the future that he knows, Barry's only hope is to race for his life. But will making the ultimate sacrifice be enough to reset the universe? Oh, Isaac. So we both saw this movie together last Thursday. Um, We've kind of had a good night. Yeah, opening night. Um, We had a... I feel like we've actually talked about it a good amount off the pod. Um, but, um, you know, it's kind of like a why not? Let's just talk about it, you know, yeah. on here. Um, even though I know, Isaac, you want to tell the audience, um, what you thought of this movie? I would love to, uh, I would love to, I would love to tell everyone, um, what I've thought about the movie. But before I do that, I would like to clarify, uh, I've historically been like a huge DC fan. Um, you know, I grew up on like, you know, all the Justice League, Young Justice cartoons, really everything. Um, grew well, up not, DC. Not big enough of one to be a Mad Hatter, Mad Hatter fan. All right. No, Keep not going. big enough to be a Mad Hatter fan. You're goddamn yeah. right. Um, so, you know, obviously, whenever I get like new DC content, specifically like a movie, it's like, ah. Um, that being said, this this knows this might have been like the most disappointed I've ever been in my life when it comes to a movie. Um, obviously, no one else watching really knows, but obviously, you know, like I was gassing this movie up for like months. Like every time I saw a new trailer, I was like, oh, this looks sick. And I would like, you know, send it to the group chat. I would be, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I made I made you like. I made you and Dimitri uh come come see the movie with me. Um and I think that like it was just I gave I mean I'll just skip to the rating already. Why not? Um I gave it half I gave it the lowest possible rating on letterbox I could have. I gave it half a star. Um it probably deserved one star to be fair, but like it was just so disappointing I couldn't I couldn't give it one. Um, really everything about it was just like so worthless and it meant nothing and it was done so it was done so poorly um, that it was just the most disappointed I've ever been in a film 
So that really sums up uh, most of what I was feeling. I know uh, you were right next to me, so I know I know most of what you thought oh, yeah. about it. But, uh, mm-hmm. Why don't you uh, Why don't you cover some bases, Nils? Yeah. Well, I, I just wanted to contextualize for the audience um, as well that uh, when I sat down, I sat down right next to Isaac, and um, about fifteen minutes in, um, he whispered over to my ear, uh, saying, "I'm so sorry, Nils." Um, just to show, I, I think that was, was set during the baby scene. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, or right after. It might have See, been when, um, I think it was when Wonder Woman had the lasso of truth on Batman and the Flash. And the Flash was like, I'm a virgin. And Batman oh. was like, I have mommy and daddy issues because they were murdered. Yeah. I remember. Oh, I completely for- I forgot Gal Gadot was in this. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, that was. Uh, Oh no! This so yeah. I was unlike Isaac. I had no expectation, or I had low expectations, and it, the movie hit even lower um, than I thought it would, um, which quite surprised um, to me. I don't know. It just there's just so much hype around it um, from the studios and from random people, only for it to be a really bad. I, I just I really don't know what the movie has going for it mm-hmm. in any meaningful way. Um, I'll say this like <clears throat> it's kind of a the opening scene, right? Isn't the worst thing in the world, right? Where you have like Barry Allen saving babies. Um, all the babies look really bad. That's that. I mean, that's the obvious trend. Is that. Um, the CG is horrendous, so the babies mm-hmm. look horrifying. And then I don't know; it's like it's supposed to be funny, right? It's like ah, he puts the baby in a microwave and does all these things. Mm-hmm. Um, but even then, I was already starting to laugh at the movie in a way. Um, I don't know; I wasn't laughing with it even then. Um, and that might be the movie's right. high best part. I would say it might be its opening fifteen minutes. Mm -hmm. um before it got like really bad yeah and even i think people uh, even you uh might enjoy the bat fleck chase scene right with the motorcycle i don't know i for yeah for me it just didn't really have any weight to it so i was just kind of Mm -hmm. dead inside watching it not dead inside i just felt nothing um and then i I, instantly when wonder woman showed up i was uh, like oh god I'm, i'm not gonna like this movie um mm-hmm. and i didn't like it for the rest of the movie uh i i went through various stages over time or throughout the film where it, at first i was like this is so bad this is so dumb and then it got to a point that i was like maybe i just need to <clears throat> turn my brain off and just pretend i'm like eight years old <clears throat> and just try to enjoy it, right? This is a, at this point. This is when you got Michael Keaton Batman, right? Um, but even then, I can't just enjoy it just for that. It, the movie is just so bad um, and depressed, and then it just doesn't help that it's so long. Mm-hmm. Um, that I was just so excited for the movie to end, especially I think, and a lot of people would agree that that third act is horrendous. That's probably the worst part. Um, because it's a combination of what the main weaknesses this movie has. Um, but Isaac, uh, I realize I've been talking like forever. Um, no, you've been making some good points, man. Continue. Um, okay. Well, I'll just say this of the main trends. I think you'd agree that the third act I'll talk about later that it has all combined. Um, there's just senseless fan service that meaningless fan service. Um, bad cg uh the action is so just whatever um mm-hmm. even at its best i was pretty bored um and then the story it's just it's not very good i that's just really it i'd mm-hmm. say um but i mean of those like so isaac what do you think of the story we got ourselves here. Oh, I thought it was god awful. <laughs> and you know, again, this really plays into the whole why I was so disappointed part because I mm-hmm. I saw this as basically uh just live action remake of P- Flashpoint. Um, you know, the yeah. comic book run, which then turned into the animated film. 
Um, and I just thought they were just going to do the same thing. Very straightforward. Um, I think that would have, if they had just done that, like it would have been really, really hard to fuck up, but they just decided to go in a different direction, which is incredibly disappointing. Um, yeah. And it's not even disappointing that they went in a different direction. It's just that the direction they decided to, you know, go in was just like, just so God awful. Um, you know, you have, I mean, there, there were a few aspects of this, of the plot that I really liked, for example, Barry going against himself and Barry's, you know, alternative version of himself kind of being corrupted by his power and thinking, yeah, you know, I can really do like, I can, I can save everyone. I can do everything you know, I'm the flash, I can do whatever I want. I just need to like run faster, yada, yada. Um, but like, oh, I also thought that Michael Keaton's Batman um, kamikaze into the plane uh, or the <laughs> ship was like the best part of the film. That was a really um, funny part. Because, you know, his his cockpit's like malfunctioning and he's like, oh, I can't eject. Well, <laughs> gotta die. <laughs> this um, is the funniest. I love that it's the cannon and then there is him just right, yeah. fucking going into the yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, I mean, otherwise, like you know, besides those two parts of the plot, like I, it was really just it was just terrible. Um, can I interject yeah. on what you said yeah. about the oh, his? Well, so and then it's interesting. When I saw in the trailer that we're getting two Ezra Millers, you know, it's already one Ezra Miller is already enough. Um, but having two, it's like, oh right. my gosh, I don't know if I can right. do that. And it's kind of a cool idea at first, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but then well, it it I don't the writers just gave up on how to resolve that. Because by yeah. the end, I, I there wasn't any concrete thing that happened that you know would separate the two, and then you had the old Flash, right, or the old mm-hmm. Barry, like the old it, Newberry. Yeah, 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 it just it made it so unnecessarily convoluted. It, it, it's like they they're like we're gonna change it up, right? We don't want to do Reverse Flash, right? right? But then they didn't have an ending in mind at all. Um, yeah. mm-hmm. So. And even then, I mean, I, I applaud for them doing two Barry Allens, right? Um, I didn't really like it. <laughs> so oh, fair enough. Or I didn't enjoy watching. I, I, I was dreading that we're going to have to see Ezra Miller do his like banter or their banter stuff mm-hmm. for the whole rest of the movie. Um, I don't know. And I, yeah. it's the him, the, the, them doing the uh, laugh, the alternate uh was a little goofy at first um but once they did it for an eighth time um yeah yeah, uh no no thanks no thanks Mm -hmm. um yeah and yeah i don't know michael keaton i I, he's just there i don't (laughs) know this is fine i don't know it's just so random why what i don't get dc like, oh, we got a reboot. Let's bring back Michael Keaton. Because then you're just restraining yourself that any form of any minor action scene, you will have mm-hmm. to get a double or do like CG. Um, yeah. I will say, we, you know, we dog on the CG, right, for um, this movie. I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure a lot of the Batman stuff was CG. Didn't look too bad. Uh, no, I mean, it looked all right. It, it, I, once again, because it didn't really have the weight to it, I was pretty bored. Mm-hmm. But in that grand scale scheme of that Flash movie, it didn't look too bad. Um, okay, sorry. I know I interrupted you and then no, it's cool. talked for a while, but do you remember what you're going to say next? Uh, just generally, like, you know, plot wise, it was just a pile of shit. Um, and, you know, they had a lot of different aspects of like, oh there's a mysterious flash that forced barry to go but and it's like yeah all right so i don't know if you caught on but as someone who watched like a painfully large amount of the cw flash like we all kind of figured out that was barry um but like it's just like you can do that it's the flash you know if you can do that for anyone it's the flash because obviously the whole time travel thing's kind of important there um and like the whole learning your lesson oh corrupted by power or whatever but like you know like the one part of the flashpoint story that's like generally speaking in every adaptation it's it's untouched and this was it was even untouched in the cw's flash you know um was the inclusion of the reverse flash and i think that like you know 
you can always branch off and like adapt something in a different way. But I mean, you know, to kind of use the, you know, the flash, the movie's actual uh, plot against itself, you know, there are some events that you just don't change because they're so incredibly important for just the structure of the narrative that you mm-hmm. can't, you can't change them without, you know, losing a sense of character. And in this case, it was, you know, it was the reverse flash. And maybe, you know, the reverse flash went in and killed Barry's mom. Who knows? They didn't show it. No, uh, yeah, they, so, it's it feels very awkward that we yeah. his mom just dies right, mm-hmm. and we have no clue. There, there's right. no logic. It, it's not even investigated or questioned. Right. Mm-hmm. Not at all. Um, and, you know, that's just plot wise, it was a mess. Um, yeah. And then, you know, obviously we talked about CG. Ezra Miller, like there were points when they showed like a little bit of promise and I get like, the I don't like, I don't know when Barry became such like a socially awkward, like, you know, a weirdo. Mm-hmm. Like um, that was very much. So that wasn't even necessarily Zach. I mean, Zach Snyder, when he originally made the character, um, well made an adaption of the character, it was like a little more quirky and a little more like ADHD, you know, like not really Gen Z, but very young millennial. Um, and obviously, you know, when I think it was Joss Whedon who took over for Zack Snyder's Justice for the uh, Justice League after Zack Snyder departed, like there was definitely the deviation. And in this one, he's a little more mature, um, but he's still just really fucking weird, you know, mm-hmm. um, Barry, of course. Um, and it's just. I think that like. It's at this point, it's been. It's been, oh God, how long has it been? I think it was Justice League 2015 or 2017. I think it was 2017. 2017. Okay, yeah. So it at this point, it's been like six years um, since the uh, Justice League movie came out. Um, at least the one that's like canon, right? And the same amount of time passed in the universe because they're trying to do that bullshit. Um, it's just like, it's not really a lot of character development. Um, and, you know... Have so, I mean, there's so many issues with the film, honestly. If you just ignore that completely, like the entire point of the film is obviously there's a big reshuffle happening with the DCEU. The DCEU is done now, it's turning into the DCU, um, with James Gunn being the head. And it's just like, originally, I was really excited because James Gunn obviously has done a fantastic job with uh, the Suicide Squad and then the spin off for Peacemaker and then all of his Marvel shit with Guardians of the Galaxy. But like, the fact of the matter is, like, Guardians of the Galaxy is a very specific franchise in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Obviously, after he made the first one, they kind of shifted towards more of a comedic approach for all of their films. But like, it just doesn't fit. You can't do that for every... It works really well with the Suicide Squad because the Suicide Squad is supposed to be just, you know, just absurd. Um, But just doing this for like... You know, Flashpoint isn't supposed... At least, you know, from the previous adaptations, it's not supposed to be funny. It's just like you can have little quips in there, but and I know I'm talking for a long time, so I'll let you take over in a second. Basically, it's just like you can't just make everything super funny and stupid because it just takes the gravity out of it. And, you know, this whole thing was meant to completely reshape everything. And then it just put George Clooney in his Batman. Um, It just was pathetic. And I think that like just every aspect of it really was just. It, it was just so disappointing but um i mean that's mainly what i would say i mean in terms of like i guess the overall like mood of the movie what would you say did it like meet your expectations because i know that like you were talking a lot about how they just made a ton of just like 10 year old humor basically um how did that fit in with your expectations i guess with like the humor or something what, what do you mean mm-hmm. sorry yeah. uh sure. Yeah, I don't know. It, it, it was <clears throat> actually, I don't know. It, it did fit well with um, all the DC universe movies that are not James Gunn related, ex- you know, except this. Um, it kind of followed the same type of humor um, where it feels just kind of awkward. I don't know. It, mm-hmm. it, it feels uh, that they're stuck in that 2017 marvel quip right thing not that marvel doesn't really do that but i feel like marvel's kind of tried in some ways to it, it barely in uh a couple ways but mm-hmm. this movie 
brings that same annoying humor that was in the 2017 Justice League. Um, I don't know. It's just awkward. The, the pinnacle of it is in that post credit scene where right. there's no chemistry. Where that post credit scene is the Flash and the Aquaman, and Aquaman's is drunk, and mm-hmm. there the chemistry is so bad. So then it just feels awkward, and that's a lot of the humor in this movie uh, for me, too. Yeah. It's just because of how poor the chemistry is and lack of charisma, none of the jokes, they're, they're very C-tier level jokes that maybe if someone, if the actor or the character is really charismatic, then it would get you know be a little more entertaining. But the fact that it's these characters that I haven't, that I haven't gained, haven't gained my trust, makes it I'm like you stop it gross mm-hmm. um but yeah so i don't know it overall the movie is somehow worse than the expectations i had for it and i assumed it was gonna be a bad movie um mm-hmm. i think the, the worst part of this movie and then and these are my final thoughts basically is you know you got your 2017 justice league you got your uh Batman versus Superman. He, uh, you got your Aquaman, right? Those are all kind of shit shows. I probably, I think I'm probably missing another DC movie that was bad. Um, oh, or like Suicide Squad, the original. You know, mm-hmm. is they're all kind of bad, but they're really f- enter- they're entertainingly bad that you can make fun of them and have a good time if you're with friends. You know, just laugh at it. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, this movie just made me depressed. I still laughed at it a good couple times, but this one actually just kind of made me sad. Um, yeah. Or not sad, but yeah, I just... Uh, yeah, actually, I'll just say sad. It made me feel like an asshole for, th- you know, mm-hmm. um, for, but yeah. So, I don't know. I think that's the worst type of movie if it's bad and it's not even entertainingly bad. Um, yeah. I would still say if you're maybe curious by it. It's going to be worse than what you think, um, but don't buy a movie theater ticket for it. Just uh, yeah. wait till wait for it to be on HBO. Yeah. Nice. And then, yeah, then you can put it on and be like, wow, that was a bad movie. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so that would be my sum and I gave it a one star. Uh, so I don't know. I wasn't horribly offended by it, but it was really bad. So mm-hmm. that is my reasoning. Um, do you have any other extra final thoughts? No, I think you closed it out really well. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Ryzen. Well, perfect. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much our shindig then on The Flash. That'll probably be our worst movie. Oh, uh, I will say it's worse than The Hobbit by far. Uh, yeah, so I agree. I, I told that to Isaac uh, when we finished the movie. I was like, that's, it's at least not The Hobbit. Um, so yeah. Um. All right, well... I don't have too much else to talk about. Isaac, do we want to say what's the movie that we were going to watch? And then we did flash. That wasn't Jackie Robinson. Um, for what it's like a Tarkovsky. Oh, uh, Solaris. You want to do that next? Solaris? You want to do Solaris next week? Sure. All right. Perfect. All right. Well, I think that's all I got. Uh, what's your final message to the audience, Isaac, before we go? Uh, Go see a therapist. <laughs>